Yo, what is going on guys? It is Wooden Feef Kill as you know, and today what I have for you is a challenge type video. Now this is something that I want to make into a uh, kind of challenge thing like the 700 kill challenge was before and I want you guys to try it, give it a go, tell me how you get on, tweet me with your results, put it in the comments, show me pictures and stuff like that, just let me know what you got and try it out because it's a lot of fun. So what the challenge is, is basically you go into a private match against regular bots, so a 6v6 regular bots, and then you basically have to try and do the TDM challenge type thing but get eight, like as high as kills you can and go flawless. My highest attempt yet is 85. I got 85 and 0 twice. Um, the, the rules are pretty much the, you know, 10 minute timer, up to 100 kill limit, 6v6, regular bots, um, and no radar, normal health. And that's pretty much it. Apart from that, you know, you choose your own class, own specialist, uh, your own streaks. I would suggest using all lethals um, because anything else doesn't really benefit you too much. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a really hard challenge because a lot of the bots that I found seem to use snipers and they are pretty good with them sometimes. Like they get those lucky shots and that just ends your, you know, ends your chances of it. Obviously, you have to go flawless. That is the idea. And also, you know, it's also hard because you're playing 6v6 and your teammates are bound to get kills as well. So getting above a certain amount of kills is very hard because you need to outslay your teammates very greatly. Um, just a few tips for this run high lethal streaks um you want to try and get them as early as possible those opening kills are probably the most important for you because your teammates are going to find it hard to get kills after you've had those opening couple um and apart from that you know it's pretty much just your own play style there was a lot of times in this gameplay and my other 85 and all the attempts i did before that where you know um i did come very very close to dying and had to clutch up a bit i tried a load of different specialists and stuff and you know just you have to experiment with it and then tell me if you guys get anywhere close to my score if you get higher i've uh a couple of people I'm friends with, I've told them about the challenge and they've tried it as well. Um, my friend Cricky got 72, um, you know, uh, my dad got... 46 I think and just a couple other people have tried it. it's really really fun to go for and it's super super hard as well um, it was getting pretty difficult for me the first 85 and all I got the recording corrupted so uh, you know going for the second one was also super difficult and the fact that I got the exact same score is just crazy I think getting above 85 is definitely going to be a big push and a struggle and I think there's going to need to be some sort of tactic to come up with but the way the TDM spawns work you know you kill a wave of enemies and then they just pop up on the other side so um yeah, it's a pretty difficult challenge. Definitely try it out. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, at this point in the game, you know, there's just stuff you got to try and make up to make it fun for yourself. And this is another thing that I came up with. Also, like I said before, any time you spend practicing with bots or anything like that is going to be good time. That's going to improve your aim, improve your play style. And especially in a challenge where you have to try and go flawless, it's going to improve your, you know, chances of survival in a normal game. Because you're going to be trying much harder to survive and live through a round. And then, you know, you might see yourself getting more nukes, more streaks and stuff like that that as well so this challenge can definitely benefit you online and it will make the game more fun for you which will carry you through the last few months until infinite warfare does release um, I might do a couple more challenges like this when Infinite Warfare does come out, but the release of the game, I'm probably just going to be going for, you know, those opening gameplays like my first couple nukes and 100 pluses and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll come up with some challenges and tips for you guys to help out, you know, like that bumper jumper video. I'll try and do videos like that when the game comes out, so, uh, you know, you guys know what to use right from the start of the game, and I can help you out with that. But yeah, anyways, this challenge, all the medals I got and stuff, they will be included at the end of the video, all the rules and setups I have for the game. My class will also be at the end. I've tried a load of different guns and stuff. This one seemed to work the best for me so if you are interested in that just wait a little bit longer i did end up getting a nuke with the very last kill there if you can get a nuke that's even a bonus um now i know it seems like going 85 and all you'd expect to get a nuke but your streaks go absolutely off especially on nuke town you guys have to play on the map nuke town if you are doing this challenge um but uh yeah the streaks definitely go off so to get the nuke is just uh really impressive as well it just shows you how many gun kills you've got um but there were a load of times i attempted it where i didn't even get nukes so you know there your streaks are really really important that's why you got to try and get them off by the, the bat anyways do try out this challenge. Let me know how you get on. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.